Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos uh, dealing with using uh, the OR statistical programming language, and uh, more importantly, uh, using the language through OR Studio, uh, is going to concentrate on undertaking an independent samples t-test. Okay, so how can we do an independent samples t-test within within R? Okay, now, there's going to be a number of stages associated with this. So there's a little bit of a tutorial here at the very start in relation to creating a data frame. Okay, and I'm going to do this in a stepwise manner. There's there's quicker ways to do it. Okay, but just so that we can actually get used to the structure and what what a data frame actually looks like as a collection of vectors. Okay, I'm going to create some initial vectors. I'm going to combine them together to create a data frame, and then we're going to do two different ways that we can actually do the t-test. Uh, we're going to do it where we we specify an independent and dependent, uh, sorry, the, the dependent and the independent variable using the tilde operator. And we're also going to specify where we just actually use vectors, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to start off with is this is a, a hypothetical scenario. Okay? We have an exam, a maths exam, let's say, that's given to 400 students. Let's say for argument's sake that 200 of them are male and 200 of them are female. And let's say also for argument's sake that we've captured the results of those particular tests. In other words, I've got test results for the 200 males and I've got test results for the 200 females. Exam grade results. Okay. Now I actually don't have that data set here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually automatically, I'm going to randomly generate some data. Uh, and that data, the data that we're going to generate, the distributions associated with them are going to have certain properties. So let's just say for argument's sake that we want to generate some random numbers, some random exam scores, let's say for the males, okay? Uh, and I'd like that distribution to follow a normal distribution uh, with a mean of 50%, let's say the average exam score is 50% and the standard deviation of 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a data frame, not a data frame, a data vector uh, for the male, the male exam scores. So I'm just going to say data dot, let's say for argument's sake, data dot male, okay, is going to be equal to or norm, okay, I'm calling the random number generator that's going to generate normally distributed random numbers. I'd like to create 200 normally distributed random numbers. I'd like the mean of those numbers to be equal to 50. The average of this 200, this, these 200 uh, exam scores to be 50, and their associated standard deviation I'd like to be equal to 15%, okay. So actually all I'm generating here is the data for the males, the exam grades for the males, okay. So what we have here is we have the data for the males done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a data set for the female. So I'm going to say data.female, okay, data.female, oops, female, okay. Uh, it's going to be, once again, it's normally distributed or norm, uh, 200 observations. I don't have to have 200 observations, yeah, we can have different sample sizes, but let's just keep this simple. 200 female observations, this time the mean, the average exam score for the females on this maths exam, let's say, should be 65%, and the standard deviation should be equal to 20%, let's say, for argument's sake. So what I now have is I have a data set for males and a data set for females, yeah. Actually, just let's test to see actually what type of structure these are. So if I say class, let's say data.males, okay, it'll tell us the, the numeric, okay. Is it a vector? Is the vector, okay. Let's say, is it a vector, data.males, okay. And you can actually see that we get true here. So you can actually see that the, the vector, the males, sorry, the, the data.males is a vector. Uh, and also, it is of numeric type. And you can see that that's actually going to be exactly the same for the females. It's going to be a vector, and it's also going to be of numeric type. Okay? Now, what I'd like to do here is I'd like to create a data frame that has two columns in it, okay, two vectors. The first vector is going to represent the dependent variable, that's the exam grades, okay, irrespective of whether you're male or female, it'll be just a list of the 400 exam grades. And then the second column within the data frame is going to represent uh, the independent variable. And this independent variable is going to have two levels of measurement, you're either male or you're female. Okay. So actually, what I'd like to do first here now is actually to create them labels, them male and them female labels. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say data dot levels, yeah, levels, let's say levels, okay, uh, for the males uh, are going to be equal to, well, there's 200 male scores, so I'd like to create 200 labels, yeah. So I'm going to say 
RDP, reproduce the word male. And actually, will you do that 200 times for me, okay? And that's going to create a vector as well for me. This is a vector of labels, so it's just going to be 200 male labels. There you go. That's done. We're going to do the same thing for, for the females. We're going to call it data.levels.female, okay? And we're going to reproduce or replicate. We're going to replicate the, the label female, okay? female and we're going to replicate that 200 times so now i've got 200 females and 200 male labels okay uh, now i've also got 200 male exam grades and 200 female exam grades and i've got 200 male labels and 200 female labels so i'd like to bring all the exam grades into a single vector okay a single column vector so the way i'm going to do that is i'm just going to use the the combine function a within or so what i'm going to say is data dot exam grades okay so let's say data let's actually just call it data.grades okay uh, it's going to be assigned we're going to combine we're going to combine the male data values data.male okay and we're going to combine that with the data.female okay so the female values are going to be combined together okay so this creates another vector and the length of it will be 400 there's 400 observations in here and actually what's going to be in this vector are the 400 the 400 200 male observations the 200 male exam grades and the 200